Once the 23rd June 2021 saw the annual observance of the United Nations Public Service Day. The observance is being held globally under the theme Innovating the Future Public Service, New Government Models for a New Era to Reach the SDGs. UN Public Service Day brings into focus the value of public service to the community and highlights the role it plays in the development of a nation. The work landscape post-pandemic is the local theme of this year's observance. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the program of activities to commemorate the occasion was significantly condensed to three main events. An ecumenical service was held Wednesday, June 23rd at the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. The service provided an opportunity for reflection on this year's theme. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, Honorable Alan Chastney, said the theme was carefully selected given the tremendous effort and sacrifice made by public servants towards the fight against COVID-19. We must face the reality that the aftermath of the pandemic will require that we do things differently. Having observed your contribution and sacrifices over the last year, I have no doubt that you will take on this challenge. The work landscape post-pandemic will change the way we transact businesses. Since the pandemic, we've been We've seen changes to the business model, not only within government, but with businesses big and small. Due to the transformative developments that are taking place in the world today, and the accelerated adaptation and integration to the use of digital technology, St. Lucia has sped up the redesign of the way government services are delivered to our people. The Prime Minister applauded the public servants for their continued dedication. He indicated post-pandemic, special focus will be given to the island's human resource. We must be mindful of the health of staff, mental, physical and emotional, as this would determine their coping abilities and therefore their ability to, successful contribute, to successfully contribute to the national development. We also must build and, and nurture trust. The level of trust built between employer and employee, supervisors and direct reports and public servants and the citizens will de be dependent on our ability to communicate honestly, fearlessly and respectfully. Father Albert Smith encouraged public servants to work together to build a more productive work environment. There are people who do very well in the public service but for a fact, all of us know it, and I know I'll get my licks for that, but that's okay. Many public servants do not do what they're supposed to do, and they get paid at the end of the month. That is robbery. That is robbing the economy of your country. It's a, it's a fact. Just as you have rights, all of you have a responsibility to give a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. A departmental staff appreciation and recognition day will be observed during the course of Public Service Week. The observance will conclude with a panel discussion slated for Friday, June 25th, at the studios of the GIS. From the Government Information Service, I'm Huma Dimak, reporting.